Well, it's that time of year again when all of our Christmas festivities are starting to kick off. We wanted to look at some of the more popular Christmas films and give a little bit of an HR perspective. Um, so I am going to watch these along with you and give my expert take on it. Here we go. Hey, Megan. It's winter. Can we put Dancer and Prancer back in their stable? Are you body shaming her right now? Some people here might find your outfit offensive well some people might find your outfit offensive oh wow i mean while i would agree that the employee's outfit of choice is probably not ideal i also would say that the manager's jumper was probably not the nicest either and um, but that's a personal opinion pulling somebody up about their dress code in front of all the other team members is probably not the best way to go about doing things let's see what video two has got there she is, my sister from another mister. I'm kidding. Our mother didn't start having affairs until the mid-90s. What are you doing here? Uh, well, we were just going over your fourth quarter earnings, and I wondered if I was missing something. Probably. So we were all a little bit disappointed not to hit 7% growth in this last quarter, but 6.5% is right on industry standards. Mm -hmm. So you need to hit 12%. 12? 12? 12 is the new seven. Since oh. when? Since dad died and the board made me CEO. You mean interim CEO. Shut up. Wow. Is there anything else? Actually, yes. This is a sample cheese board for a holiday mixer tonight. I'm sorry, you're having a Christmas party tonight? It's not happening. All right, it's canceled. Quite a lot going on in that video. Um, firstly, obviously, they're delivering some sort of budget, um, targets that have not been met. Um, again, all targets should be agreed with the employees in advance. So we're delivering that at a team meetings Again, probably not the best best way to go about doing things. Um, there's obviously a little bit of family tension there as well um, between the sister not being involved in planning the Christmas party and the wayward brother clearly um, going a little bit rogue and trying to organise something. Again, just not really, just not really great for for the team in general. If you've got two key senior team members who are not on the same page. I want to do something that scares me to feel alive. What did you guys do to him? Let go of those lights, buddy. <laughs> I think he meant to swing there. Um, I mean, I'm disappointed that I've never been to a Christmas party quite as crazy as that one. Um, maybe it's a good thing, but yeah, health and safety implications there. There's clearly a lot of alcohol being consumed. Um, again, you you can't necessarily legislate for people's common sense. You wouldn't expect somebody to swing from Christmas decorations from the ceiling. However, the business is still going to be liable. So again, putting out some sort of notification in advance of the Christmas party just to remind people to have fun, but to be safe at all times is probably probably a good idea there. It's me, Santa Claus! I'm coming to town for an epic night! Yay! Santa! It's okay, we'll get there. Watch this, Greg. Dean! Clear, I'm coming around! Initial <laughs> I'm guessing by the other videos, that is also one of the directors, so really not that professional. Um, great that he's getting into the Christmas spirit and dressing up, um, but there's still a level of professionalism that you would want to take, and that is just really not <laughs> not setting a good tone for everybody else. Um, from an HR point of view, not taking into account the health and safety of trying to sledge down some stairs, um, I mean, that's breaking so many health and safety rules that, again, would be potentially gross misconduct. So um, you'd be looking at following up with disciplinary proceedings after that. All right, so I've made a list of my first round of layoffs. Give me that. No, no. These are my employees. Ah, Guys, geez. are we sure about oh, this? How about say you won't make budget cuts? I swear to God, Clay. Here comes the Loogie Express. Don't you do say it. Everybody's going to get a bonus or else. You suck that back in. You suck that back in. Clay. Oh, oh my God. Why did you do this to yourself? You know I took nine years of propaganda. Carol, you know he's turning blue. Yeah. That's obviously a family issue that is going on there at the top of the tree, um, which again, we would be more than happy to help mediate with things like that and put a proper structure in place so that um, 
the family members can carry on getting along is always a good start. Um, but the start of that video, um, obviously they were talking about redundancies and they've already made a list of who they want rid of, um, which is a big no-no of, again, in redundancy situations. It's not the people, it's the positions that you're making redundant. Um, that shouldn't be a kind of pre-planned you have to go through a redundancy process and um, you obviously want to go from the business point of view of what roles are actually affected and look at what options or solutions there could be to avoid redundancy before you could ever confirm that an employee was getting made redundant so yeah i am so delighted that up to now none of our clients have come to us with any problems remotely on a level like these extremes but you never know so again good festive advice everybody likes, likes to have a Christmas party great that we are now post pandemic and Christmas parties can come back and um, again it's always just nice we don't want to suck the fun out of things but um, pop out a wee memo to your team in advance of Christmas parties reminding them that it is a work event um, and obviously anything untoward that goes on at a Christmas um, party organised by the employer um, is still covered under um, the disciplinary rules so um, you wouldn't expect any, any drug taking, any um, bad language, anything that would contravene your disciplinary policy. So again, good to just bear in mind and good to remind employees of that so they can have some good, safe, HR approved fun. When I say H, you say R. H. R. H. R. When I say H, you say R. H. R. H. Thank you very much and I hope you all have a wonderful Christmas.